your 11 practices in. Uh, how do you think Arden has kind of come along so far? Well, he's improved a lot. Uh, like we mentioned uh, or talked about the last time, he's gotten a lot more comfortable. But he has his good days and bad days. He's just got to be more consistent. But uh, he's made a lot of uh, progress in a lot of areas. Um, and we're just looking for more consistency and uh, keep improving every single day. Uh, you know, there were goods and bads today. Um, defensively, we started off in the red zone, did some stuff, and they played really well. A lot of energy, a lot of spirit, some really uh, key uh, fourth down um, and, and goal stops inside the one yard line, which was good to see. They got, had a couple of them. Um, got some takeaways today, so it was good. Uh, offense had, uh, when we were backed up on a minus two yard uh, line, there was some explosive plays, so they did some good things. Um, but until I get a chance to watch the tape, you know, I, I can't uh, really pinpoint. Uh, certain things or too many things that, that stood out. Uh, but I just could, I could feel the momentum uh, of the scrimmage going back and forth uh, throughout it, and um, there were goods and bads on both sides. Is there something specific that Art is doing this spring that maybe he wasn't doing last season that leads you to be more optimistic than you once were? Well, he's another year uh, older, and uh, he's been around here now getting more practices, and it's just player development is uh, taking place. Um, he's more comfortable. Uh, he understands things a lot more. He doesn't understand all of it yet. Uh, that'll come with more reps and more time, but uh, you know we have a much better idea of what he can uh, do, and what he, he still struggles with. Uh, so we need to stay in his strength zone. Uh, but uh, he just got more command of the offense and more uh, comfortable back there in the pocket. How, how beneficial has it been to you know have the same OC for a second year in a row and not having to learn a whole new offense? Well, it's been huge, huge for uh, all the guys on offense. Um, we've made some tweaks and adjustments based off of what uh, our personnel is going to be here uh, in the next year. But for the most part, there are a lot of consistencies in our offense, at least uh, conceptually. So uh, that helps. Uh, a couple new coaches that uh, have changed some things at certain positions that have also helped. But uh, I've been pleased with the progress that we've made uh, so far this spring offensively. Nunzio Campanelli signed a two-year extension yesterday. What's it mean to have him back? Uh, for the next two years, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, we were uh, excited about him coming uh, last year. And, um, you know, we're excited about all the coaches that are coming back uh, on our staff. We're excited about the new guys and, you know, just the staff in uh, general. But Nunzio uh, did a great job last year uh, coaching uh, the running backs. We made a move, and he's done a great job with the tight end so far this spring. Um, he's coaching our kickoff return unit also, so he's got a little more responsibility there. Uh, he's doing a great job trying to recruit for us, too. So really pleased with him overall. Um, He's a great staff guy, he's a great player. One of your linebackers, Drew Singleton, has been posting on social media that he's in Florida. Yeah. Um, what's that about? And how uh, he's got a family thing. Okay. Yeah, uh, got a family thing. Chris, yeah. and we talked about you have a lot of wide receivers. Are there one or two guys maybe have stood out now that you're kind of all almost through this? Or? And well, we talked about yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, um, I don't want to pinpoint any guy because it's not the same guy every practice. The good thing is there's a different guy that maybe steps up and has a good practice on different days. Really looking for that guy to step up and be the guy every day. Uh, we haven't had that yet, uh, but we've had more guys uh, step up and have good days uh, throughout the course of spring, which has been good to see. Our challenge is to be able to string together back-to-back -to -back good days and keep stacking those uh, good practices on top of each other and get somebody or a few guys to step up and be the top guys. Just um, given the youth at QB behind our um, and Langdon situation is kind of up in the air right now, do you worry about the depth at that position? Well, we, we've talked about it before that, uh, you know, when we get through the spring and we find out what's going on with uh, Johnny, um, that uh, we will have a contingency plan um, that we'll try to go to if need be. But it, uh, you know, we're worried about depth at a lot of positions. That one uh, is obviously the most important. And, you know, we'll address it when we get through spring and we find out you know, who's eligible, who isn't, and what we've got uh, when spring's over. We'll take two more. T1 Mason, what have you seen out of him? He <clears throat> looks really good against Texas State, breaks his leg. How do you think he's kind of coming along? Well, he's not 100% yet. Um, so he's been limited here this spring. Um, we're hoping here in the last week we can get him more and more reps. But um, he's bounced back nice. Um, he, again, he's not 100%, so he's not full go on everything. But um, you know, it's good to have him back out here practicing and, and working and, and trying to improve in certain areas. We're expecting him to be 100% uh, by the time we're in summer workouts and be able to contribute to next season in some uh, uh, manner. But I love T1. I, I uh, really ex am excited about T1. I think he's going to be a really good player for us. It's just a matter of when. Um, he's missed a lot of time, a lot of practice time and he's got to catch up on a lot of things. But he's working extremely hard in the things that he's able to do.